This is DJI's newest drone, the DJI Neo, and it's quite a detraction from their normal drones. Let's do this. So the most obvious thing to notice about it is its size. It is tiny. It's about, I think it's 160 odd grams. I'll put the more accurate figure up here. Um, it is by far DJI's smallest drone. Um, but that's not the most interesting thing about it. The most interesting thing about it is it's more or less designed, I think, to be one of these autonomous drones, i.e. flown without a controller. But interestingly, it can be flown using almost any of the existing DJI controllers. So what I wanted to do first is just try out the automatic modes. Droney. Circle, rocket, spotlight, direction track, follow. Each of those, um, as I'll show in the video, are done completely automatically. You put your hand out, you press the button, it takes off, it does the move, it comes back. And the likes of the tracking and, and direction tracking, all automatic, all without a controller. As I'll show later, you can change all the settings for these uh, using the DJI Fly app on your mobile phone. And you can also, in fact, use the mobile phone as a kind of controller to fly the, the, the drone in a more traditional way. So, so I'm in the car and I'm just waiting for the rain to stop. And once the rain stops, I'll go out, I'll try a few of these flights and see what's what. So I don't know how obvious it is, but uh, this is not the same day. The rain didn't stop. It's briefly stopped, uh, but it might be a bit windy. So one of the things I wanted to note is this. The whole drone is sitting in my pocket. So really what I want to do, as I said, I just want to take you through the automatic modes. So the first one you do is just press and hold. The drone powers on. So I cycle through the automatic modes. Drony. Circle. Rocket. Spotlight. Direction track. Follow. So I'll try follow first. So in theory all you do is you press and hold that button with it looking at you. It has to see you before it starts because it, you are the subject. And you hold it for three seconds and off it goes. Medium. Follow. Three. Two. One. And it's hovering. Uh, it's, as you might be able to see, it's very close to me. Um, it's about a metre from me, which is set to medium, and if I walk towards it, it doesn't move. But if I walk away from it, it follows me. Now, it's probably following me at about two metres, but the main thing is, if I change direction, it will move to try and get behind me. And if I walk towards it, it stays where it is. So good for filming from behind, um, or maybe if you wanted a video from this distance, and I'll get in front of the camera. And when you're finished, you walk up to it, put your hand out, and it turns off. Easy. Drony is the basic film you as it backs up, taking more and more of the scene. Really effective for shot where, where you're standing is, is impressive. And what it does, it flies out, hovers a bit, flies back in, and films both, I think, as separate files. And then when it gets back to you, Lands in your hand. Circle. Circle, um, I think this one's set to 10 metres. It, it flies out to 10 metres and circles you. 10 metres. Circle. Yeah. Three, two, one. So it's now at 10 metres and it starts to go. 
and it's going at a fair pace, I have to say. Obviously what you need to do with circle is make sure that uh, there are no obstacles at that particular distance and then when it's finished it'll just head back. Rocket is the film down on you from above. Goes up a bit and then up it goes, looking down on you. I think the kind of thing that this would be useful for is if you, where you're standing has some pretty interesting things. Once it gets to the six metres, down it comes, I believe. And I think it's quite good at finding where you were. To come back to my hands. Spotlight is interesting. What its spotlight does is the drone hovers in place and keeps you in the frame. Spotlight. Three, two, one. So the drone's going to stay there, and no matter what I do, it'll keep me in the frame. Now, what I wanted to test is how far away I could get. I'm going to try going behind this tree. So it should lose me now, but does it pick me back up? It looks from here like it's got me. So that's quite impressive. That's a good, I don't know, 30 metres. I'm hoping my microphone is still getting picked up by my camera. And then it's fairly quick at adjusting. So quite good at keeping me in frame. And I've seen some videos where Spotlight will actually differentiate between the subject, the person that starts it, and other people and manage to keep them in frame. I don't have anyone around that I can test that on. Direction track. Direction track, I think, is probably going to be the one that's most used for vlogging. And what it does is it's like follow, but it will change directions depending on what you're doing. Far. Direction track. Three, two, one. So, so it'll get out to distance. I've got it set to high and far. And if I start walking, I'll move away. So it's going to keep me in frame um, and actually keep me in frame in the direction I'm walking. So if I change slightly, it will very quickly adjust. Now, I think that's only going to be very good if you make slight changes to your direction. If you turn it 90 degrees, it's going to really fight to get back. it knows to start following me instead. And again, if I change direction slightly, it'll move to being behind me. So I think if, if I imagine a climbing scenario, we're walking into a climb, it'll be, oh, I think I'm finished because I've stuck my hand out. And when you're finished, you put your hand out and the drone comes back to you. Excellent. All of these settings um, can be found in the DJI Fly app. So you find your drone 
it connects to it so it's connected to wi-fi so it's not going to have super long range okay so what you can see is you can see the drain the drone's view in it and i can just start and take off and you see it's set to these settings if i go into settings you can see all the different manual ones so i can set the follow and i can set it to far or close or medium flat or high flat is just level with your head high is above um, drone you set how far up it goes and whether it goes up or whether it stays flat uh, circle just the distance and it goes as far as 20 meters rocket goes as high as 10 meters spotlight um, I don't know how the photo version works and I, I'm not really that interested but I'll try it at some point custom you can switch between direction track helix or boomerang direction track for me is going to be best and I quite like far and high I guess depending on terrain you would set the the height so if I'm walking through somewhere with trees for example I wouldn't want it high I would want it flat um or low even depending on how high the trees are but the thing i want to talk about is manual now in manual mode i could start recording uh, and take off take off and what you see is the controls are now drone controls so i can rotate left or right rather rotate left and these are like mini um, I can go up or I can go down um, I can go back forwards and what that basically means is I can't find a control for the camera angle but basically means I can start flying this like a normal camera drone And I'm not how sh sure how far I can go, but I can basically fly around. Can come back to me. I might even be able to do some orbits. Not sure how how easy that will be. But I'll try it. So I want to go. I want to fly right while turning left. So it's possible to fly in orbit. As I said, just using your phone, no controllers here. And that's it. Oh, I've found the camera, the angle. This sets the angle. So uh, that would actually a bit better. I'll try and fly into these trees a bit. I'm relatively sure that it will lose connection. I can fly straight at myself. Felt the wind in my hair there, and then on the way back, I could just fly it towards me. And press land. Stop recording. Go down. Landing. Hand under. And it lands. So that's it. And now that's the rain starting. So off I go. Obviously this drone, being the size it is, is not trying to compete with the other DJI drones. It doesn't have as good a sensor, it doesn't have as good manual controls. As far as I'm aware, if you use the controllers, you can have some manual control over things like exposure. But when it when you're using it without a controller, everything's automatic and probably over sharpened. I look forward to see what the output's like, but it's designed, it's aimed at 
people who are not experienced at flying drones. Um, so uh, it's it's got half inch sensor as far as I'm aware, which should be capable of, of okay, doing okay for stuff. It's got a one axis gimbal, uh, you can see here, hopefully, which means the other axes are being done by software. Now what that basically means is, although this, fil this thing is filming at 4K or can film at 4K, the stabilization will, will, will crop that. So the more severe the stabilization, I imagine the worse the picture quality. I don't imagine this being the kind of drone people will use in adverse weather. I'm hoping it'll be quite good to fly indoors, but you can film at 4K, 30 FPS, no other settings and there's no profile. So it's a, it's, it's a normal picture profile, which again will probably be over contrasty and over sharp. Uh, but we'll have a look. Uh, you can film at 1080p, which gives you, which allows you to go up to 60 frames per second. And I'll, I'd like to try that out later to see if I can get some nice smooth slow motion using it. It's got guards, it's got propeller guards built in. So what it basically means is you can basically crash it off things. And because it's so light, it's, it's likely to survive as are the things you crash into. So those were the automatic mods. What I'll do later in the week, I'll get my other controllers and try flying it with the controllers. I can fly it with my Mini Pro controller. I uh, can't remember what that's called. It's up here. Which again should give me some more control. And interestingly, I can fly it with my uh, FPV goggles. So I want to see what this thing flies like as an FPV drone. And as far as I'm aware, you can fly it in completely manual mode. So I look forward to trying that later in the week. But I'm going to wait for the better weather um, because this is terrible at the moment. Look out for that video coming later. And thanks for watching.